Hello and welcome to our newest episode of Loxon Explained. Today I am with Dale um, from the US and we are in our, one of our wonderful showrooms and we have a very unique setup here when it comes to showing the control concept of Loxon. Dale, I grew up in a, in a home in a, that was built in the 70s and it was very easy. So we had a um, living room, there was just one light in the middle, one switch, and that's it. How was it in, on your end? Oh, it was pretty much the same. Maybe we had a couple different lights in each room, uh, light on the ceiling, maybe a lamp on the sofa, next to the sofa on a table or something like that, but very similar, yes. And today, if we look at a modern building today, I mean, it's very different. We are looking at different light sources. We're looking at here, for example, in, in, in this room, we have spots, we have ambient lighting through LED strips, we have pendulums, we have all those different light sources. And um, what I see in a lot of homes is exactly what you guys have here. Yeah. Um, what I see is that even in a newly built home, people end up with a bunch of different um, control devices. Dale, what do we have here? Well, here we have, they're European switches, but they're very similar to some of the, the more modern homes in the US now. But we have several different switches. We actually have six different light controls here for six different banks of lighting. We have two different banks for shade controlling. And then we also have a temperature, so we can adjust the temperature in the room. Mm -hmm. We have uh, audio, um, so they have you know music or different audio in the room. Mm -hmm. And then of course a thermostat for the heating and air conditioning. Yeah. There are two problems with that, I believe. One problem is that it's very hard to control a room and to put it into a nice mood if you have six different buttons for lights and four different buttons for shades. That's the one problem. And the other problem is it's complex. When you walk into a room, you, okay, which switch controls what? Yeah. I need lights. Yeah. With lock zone, you walk into the room and things start to happen automatically. The lights come on, depending on the brightness, uh, ambient lighting in the room, depends on how bright the lights are. Mm -hmm. uh, if the shades open or close, depending mm -hmm. on the time of day, the temperature starts to adjust the way you need. So you don't even have to worry about all yeah. this. All of it happens automatically. So our principle is we only use the manual control if there are things that they want to change daily. Yes. Like a lighting scene. Yes. Or maybe I don't like the automatic shading uh, right now because I want to close it or something like that. Then I use a, a control device. So how does the control device look like in our case? So in our case, Loxone has developed the, the touch here. And this is actually the pure touch. So mm -hmm. it's one of the nicer ones. It has glass on it, so it's very attractive. Mm -hmm. um, and it actually has five programmable points on it. So this touch replaces everything you see here in, uh, in this display. In the middle button, we usually have lighting. Correct. When it comes to lighting, I mean, this is not the one light. We combine the different lighting sources, let's say the, uh, the, the pendulum to a certain dimming level and the LED strip to a certain color and the spots also to a certain dimming level. We combine those two scenes. So for example, in the kitchen, you would have a scene for cooking, you would have a scene for dinner, you would have a scene for cleaning, that is very bright. Um, and so we think about scenes. We do not think about individual lights, we think in scenes. Yes. And what else do we have here, Dave? We well, also have, you can control the, the audio in the room. Yeah. So you know, if you wanted music or your favorite play playlist from your phone uh, or even Spotify, things like that, you can actually control that. So you have volume up, down, on the here, and then um, when you push the button here, you can, each individual tap takes you to a different source, so. Mm -hmm. Dave, what do we have on the left side? So on the left side, you have the blind controls. So one tap up on here will open the blinds, one tap down here will close the blinds, but you can stop them at any point. So if you tap it mm -hmm. again, it'll stop. So in our case, we have, uh, on, the, on the old setup, I would say, we have uh, two blinds. Um, so how does it work here? So we're controlling both sets of blinds um, with the one side mm -hmm. here. But if you wanted to control individually, you know, one bank versus another bank, yep. then we have our application. Yep. We have an iOS app as well as an Android app. So you can use it on your tablet or your smartphone. 
and uh, make the different adjustments there. I mean, our web even runs in, uh, runs in the web browser. Yes. And, and we do actually have like a, a, a legit Windows app and also a Mac app in addition to that. So just to summarize, we have automation. Automation takes care of all our mundane tasks of the light when it's dark, of the shades when I'm not at home, of the temperature, of energy savings. Then I have the control element. I use the control element for the things I want to interact with daily. Um, one thing also to mention, which is very important here, I have lights, I have music, I have shades, but I do also have a temperature and humidity sensor. So I also do the temperature control through our touch product. Yes, so each room that has one of these, you can monitor the temperature yep. and adjust it in each individual room. Mm -hmm. And the things I do not control on a daily basis, we have the app for that. Exactly. In the app, we can drive our blinds individually, we can change radio stations that I, I'm activating with, with, with the touch. Um, different light modes. Different light modes that I can set up where I can combine different colors, different dimming levels, and a million other features like, um, are my windows and doors open or closed? I, I can see that in the app. Um, I can activate the alarm system. I can do all those things. I get my notifications. I have all that in the app. And also with the intercom, somebody yeah. rings the door. Yeah. You can see right on your phone or your tablet mm -hmm. who's at your door and interact mm -hmm. with them as well. And yes, everything's in one application, so you don't have to flip through your phone. Okay, what application do yeah. I need to use this? Exactly. It's all in one application right there for okay. you. Okay, cool. Thank you, Dave, for taking the time, for showing us uh, the, the setup you have here in the showroom. Um, My pleasure. So I think it's a great visualization of the dilemma we have with the, uh, with the complexity of control versus uh, a solution like Loxon. So thank you and see you next time. Yes, absolutely. And don't forget, give us a thumbs up or subscribe.